Welcome to the SurePath student orientation video. In this video, you will learn about the different areas within SurePath and how to navigate them. Upon clicking in the SurePath, you'll be brought to the home page. The home page allows you to quickly see what assignments you might have coming up next, as well as any class materials you might have access to for that week. You can navigate forward and back between the weeks by using these icons in the upper right. At the bottom of the page, assignments are sorted by their due dates for each day of the week. Now let's take a look at a lesson. To access a lesson, simply click on the lesson title from the home page. This will bring you to the lesson table of contents. From here, I can see an estimate of how long a lesson will take to complete. I can continue where I left off if I previously accessed the lesson. Or I can choose a section I would like to visit. We'll start at the introduction. To navigate through SurePath lessons, click the Next button at the bottom of the page. When you see a term that is highlighted and underlined, this is a key term that you can click on to get a definition and sometimes hear an audio pronunciation. At the end of the page, you'll see an I'm Confused button. Clicking here will give you more details about the current topic. As you go through a lesson, you may encounter areas where you will need to expand the section to see more information. At the end of each section, you'll find a micro quiz. These quizzes are short and normally three to five questions long, and they are designed to reinforce the information from the section you most recently finished. You can review the key points before starting the quiz. This will give you some of the basic information you just covered so you'll be better prepared. After you've completed all the sections and their micro quizzes, you'll find a lesson summary. After the summary, you'll find the lesson assessment. The lesson assessments are longer than micro quizzes and are generally 10 to 20 questions long. You can review the key points for the whole lesson and when you're ready you can start the quiz. After completing the lesson assessment, you'll see your lesson assessment performance. You will see an overview of how you did, and you can review your incorrect and correct answers. When finished, you can click Done to return to the home page. You can access adaptive quizzing by clicking on the EAQ link. The EAQ homepage will open up in a new tab. On the EAQ homepage, you can see how many questions you've answered today and this week. You'll be able to create a quiz or resume a quiz you've previously started. You'll also see any adaptive quizzes your instructor has assigned. At the bottom of the page, you'll see your weakest areas and be able to create a quiz on those topics. Click on Performance to view your EAQ performance. On this page, you can choose which question sets and topics you want to view, and you'll be able to see your mastery progress in each area. Each of these topics will also have a quiz button if you'd like to start a quiz and work on that topic area. For more detailed EAQ information, please view the EAQ student orientation video. To close EAQ and go back to SurePath, simply close the tab. Now let's talk about performance within SurePath. To access and review your performance in SurePath, Click on the Performance link on the left. On the Performance page, you can track how you're doing in different categories and subtopics, as well as your performance on any skill or simulation. You can narrow down the performance information you'd like to see by changing the week range. Changing the category.
or by clicking on the subtopic. Finally, you can always access your ebook by clicking on the ebook link on the left side. Clicking on the title of the ebook will take you to your vital source library where you can access the title. If you ever need to report a bug or content error, or if you need help and support or need to contact us, use these links on the left.